Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the first official look at the new season because they've started filming, and like I said in a video recently, they were going to start shooting out on the street very soon, and it turned out that was yesterday. So we've got our first look at The Flash, and so this is from Episode 2, potentially some stuff from Episode 1. Pretty sure right now they are getting close to wrapping episode one. They only had to do a few things here and there, but we're going to talk about all of this. We've got photos, we've got information in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, we've got our first look at The Flash. Thanks to Canada Graphs as per usual. Check out his blog post. It's great. So much more photos and so much more information for you guys to check out after this video. And also check out him on Twitter because that's where you see it first. And you can find out via Patreon before as well if you wish to do so as well. So yeah, thanks to Canagraphs and let's go ahead and get into this video. So The Flash is currently filming episode 2 of season 7 right now. They've been filming it for at least the last couple of days. And apparently... They wrapped episode 1 because they're on this, however there may be a few pickup shots and we're currently not sure if they've finished all the specific scenes but basically they've done enough so that they can start episode 2 because the photos you're going to see are mainly from episode 2. So yeah, seems like it's all going well and I hope it continues going on well. So yeah, The Flash was seen out filming and this is our first official look at season 7. This is with Grant Gustin, Candace Patton, and a few others on the set. So this is for The Flash Season 7, Episode 2, and possibly one, kind of Groff says, and may contain possible spoilers of the season, which is correct. So let's go ahead. So first off, we're going to go through what kind of Groff was able to write down on his blog, and then we'll go over the photos after, which are going to be kind of similar to what we're reading out, but we'll get to that. So The Flash was on location for Season 7 shooting in Vancouver, shooting at its convention centre in downtown Vancouver for a couple of days along with a shoot on top of a parkade about three blocks away on the second day. While there was not much to see on the first day, apparently there was not much to see on the first day and he did get to see a few crates which had the black hole logos on them as well as some type of beam machine which he doesn't know what that is for yet. And on the second day, there was a lot more to see. However, in the morning, a scene was shot right outside the convention center with Candace Patton as Iris West Allen, along with Victoria Park as Camilla. If you weren't paying close attention, you might have missed that this was in the Mirrorverse, which we'll get to in the photos just past this. And so, yeah, this was in the Mirrorverse as the garbage bins and dog walking signs, they were all printed in reverse even down to the spray cans Camilla uses to spray paint in the proper direction, a message to Iris that labels on in reverse. The scene had Camilla finishing up her message to Iris when Iris shows up at that spot, sees her and walks over and gives her a hug, and the pair talk for a minute before walking off together. Where the pair were heading after this is unknown as the scene ends about 20 steps later. This scene is for episode 2 of season 7, as you may be able to see by the clapperboard, is directed by Alexander Roche, who has directed five other Flash episodes in the past, as well as eight other Arrowverse episodes from Legends, Arrow, and Supergirl, so a very much so a regular director for the CW shows. And so, as with all the other sets I've been going to so far, the COVID guidelines are in place by the government, and it's been met so you know they can officially film properly so let's talk about that section of the blog and we'll go on to that section of the blog with the corresponding images in just a second so what we can get from this is we've got on the first day they didn't shoot that much that was visible to the public we saw that there were black hole crates and so we'll see a bit more black hole that was definitely a theory of mine and that's been confirmed now and then, you know, most of this next part is about Candace and Victoria, so Iris and Camilla, and this is in fact in the Mirrorverse, and we'll get to the photos in just a second, but everything is printed in reverse, and Camilla sprays on the wall a message to Iris, and we'll read that message out in just a second, and so they reunite in this scene. So let's go over to the images that Canagraphs has provided, 
And so if you can see here, we see Iris and Camilla, they are in the scene together, and the message says, Iris, I got your message, heading to the speed lab, Camilla. So this is a message to Iris, but this is in fact in the Mirrorverse, it's not in the real world. So what we're seeing here is normal Iris in the Mirrorverse, and this is after how the season ended and she disappeared. So she's obviously got a hold of her powers and she is somehow able to communicate with Camilla because she has sent some sort of message to Camilla to try and probably break them all out at the same point so they can all get out. So this means that Iris won't get out in episode one. Iris will probably get out in episode two or three. Definitely not episode one as of right now because they were shooting episode two and this is most definitely in the rear of us. And so there is another photo here. You get to see them walking together. This is where they walk off towards the end of the scene. And I think it's just really exciting that we get our first look at the new season. We knew it was coming. We knew that they were going to be filming on the streets very soon. And yeah, so very exciting. Iris and Camilla together. And then we will move on to the next bit of the blog. And we will go over to the photos corresponding to that as well. So after that scene wrapped, the production moved back inside the convention center to resume filming interior scenes. Thankfully this building comes with a lot of glass on it making it easy to see what's going on inside as long as you know where to look and in this particular case on a level generally used for large convention hall events. I do not know if the scene was for episode 2 or 1 kind of graph says and he didn't think to check until after so we're unsure but presuming it's episode 2 and we'll have to wait and see. So on set for the scene was Grant Gustin as the Flash and Ifrit door and I totally botched the name I'm sorry about that but mirror mistress and so that's Eva and the stunt double so the first scene I saw that was shot was pretty simple it had the flash standing about 100 feet away from mirror mistress and he simply goes running at her after they shot that scene I left for a while and then he came back and things had changed slightly now they had Grant's stunt double up on a rolling cart. He was prepping a scene that Grant himself would do a bit later where he goes charging towards Mirror Mistress in a horizontal fashion with his arms shoved forward. Considering Grant's love for Superman, I wonder how much they wanted to put both arms out pretending he was Superman for the scene as it very much so looked the way you would expect the man still to fly through the air. However, I want to interject here. I'm guessing this could be the you know, famous punch that Barry does. What was it? It was like a sort of five mile punch or something. I forgot the name. You guys will remember it was with that episode with the metallic kind of zombie kind of guy. I forgot his name. But that episode he did this sort of like five mile punch. He runs around and then he jumps with his fist like flying through the air and he's like jumping and he hits them. So maybe he does that. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, let's move on. So in this scene, the Flash flies towards Mirror Mistress before she bobs and weaves his lunge. And the Flash goes flying by her, not making impact with her as she looks unimpressed after that. After they wrapped that scene, I moved over to another shoot and unfortunately, he didn't know exactly where it was. And so the trailer was for Danielle Panabaker at that set, but he never saw her actually on the set. So Caitlin slash Killer Frost and made it pretty clear that that scene was going to be on the roof. What was she doing there? I guess we'll have to wait and see because we weren't able to catch that, but she was around somewhere. Okay, so let's move on to the photos now for this section, and these are really cool photos. We got our first look at Grant in the actual flash suit, and so here we have him landing on the ground, and like I said, there's a lot more photos that you guys can check out on the blog, so go check that out. But here is a cool one where he lands on the ground, and I presume this is after like he's missed the punch or something. And here is a look at Mirror Mistress aka Eva with Barry. Obviously in the flash suit this is just them behind the scenes talking. But that is her costume. She's fully suited up as the Mirror Mistress. Barry's fully suited up as the Flash. And I think it's funny if you go check out the blog. Grant is wearing a mask on top of a mask. And so let's move on to the next photo. So here is a few closer shots of Grant in the suit. The suit is the same, he looks really cool, and here he is just preparing for the scene, and I just, you know, really like it, and it's one of our first looks, and I think it's one of the best looks we've got. 
and so here he is on the machine and this is actually Grant I believe it looks like him and he's from the side and this is where he's going in for that sort of mid-air lunge and he misses and so you know there's a lot of photos where you get to see him doing that and he sort of misses and falls to the ground and Eva is very very unimpressed in these scenes so yeah that's about it for this video guys Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This was our first look at The Flash Season 7. I can't wait to talk about it as we get more and more insight into this new season. Guessing trailers should come sometime in the next month or so. They're going to be filming Episode 2 currently right now. Probably finishing Episode 1, moving to Episode 3, and then just, you know, into this new story. So maybe we'll get some more information regarding what's happening after the Mirror Mistress Black Hole kind of storyline ends and especially like iris has to get out of the mirrorverse and everything but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys later goodbye I see red.